I read the tweets um, while I was at work, and it, you know, it's it, it was devastating because because I still had work to do, uh, you know, and here I am reading basically what sounds like the, the president of the United States, who is the commander in chief, he is, he is the ultimate boss of the military, uh, telling me and everyone else that's transgender that we're fired. Living in the military, knowing you're transgender, but having to hide it, it was just exhausting. It's, it's a constant dialogue in your head about trying to, trying to not look like you're feminine in any way, because, you know, you're very self-conscious about the fact that, you know, you know you're not really male, um, you know, but you have to keep that hidden, otherwise things will, you won't be able to serve anymore. Every, everything improved drastically for me once, once the policy changed, and it allowed me to do a lot more. It allowed me to commit myself more to the military, because I could go home on the weekends and I could be myself on the weekends. And then afterwards, you know, and that, would, that would rejuvenate me and give me the energy I needed to come back to work on Monday and commit fully and, and push forward. And, if I had an opportunity to say one thing uh, to my commander-in-chief as a private citizen and not as in any capacity with, for the U.S. government, but just as a private citizen, it would be that transgender Americans have you know, served the United States for, for, since time immemorial. And so I just request, respectfully request, that any changes to policy that become official take that into account and give transgender Americans and transgender service members the, the respect that any American that has dedicated their life to the military deserves.